What's up guys? I'm Brian, this is Gabe, and we're just gonna give us uh, first impressions of my new kayak, or new to me. It was uh, Johnny Boats Bass 100. And I picked it up because I just want to get into kayak fishing. So the things that I like about it are first, the width. I'm looking for something that's very stable. Maybe I can possibly stand up from, I've come from fishing, from fishing boats, even from bank fishing, you're always standing. So fishing from a sit position is a little unusual for me. Just first impressions. I haven't had this in the water yet, so I have, I have, no, I have no idea how it's going to perform. I've heard that they're very hard to row because they're so wide. Probably like pushing a lot of water, but I did get this with the trolling motor. It's, a, it's just a pod that integrates into this little section here. Comes out. Um, if you don't have the trolling motor, it comes with a, a dry pod. I'll show you that in a second, but even inside, if you don't have the battery that uh, Johnny Boats uh, supplies. Still got a lot of space in there if you want to put your lures, keys, documentation, whatnot, everything to keep dry. So there's that, the dry box, or dry pod, without all the electronics, cabling. You just imagine there's a lot more space in there. It's got the these, oh yeah, this also has, they call it uh, the eight ball steering, but it's, it's all cable, cable driven. Not too difficult to turn. That's how, basically how you steer it. All the other controls are right on top, the on off. You got your forward and reverse speeds. It's got a very wide uh, seat, as I'm told from Gabe. <laughs> I also like it, the sitting position, because it's got a lot of space underneath to put my tackle. The one thing coming like from a fishing boat, you can just throw all your stuff in it and not worry about it, because you got plenty of room. In a kayak, you lose a lot of that, so it's nice to have that space under the seat. I'm gonna have this area up front that I've noticed not too many people use. Maybe because, like you said, you got waves crashing over, you don't want stuff getting wet, but I think I'm gonna place my battery up here so I can keep the back open for whatever, cooler, yeah. crate, pull my fishing rods. Oh, these here. Um, these are your adjustable foot rests. I know some people remove them, but I don't know. I, I'm guessing if they have them in there, they're probably, they're probably something that's desirable. I know if you have your feet down sitting for a long time, it probably feels weird. So, kind of interesting. It's a pretty just stable that. base right there. Yeah. They're standing. In the back, another thing that makes this very interesting. I know there's only a, a few, well, I'm probably wrong about this, but. This has an actual transom or transom mount, so you can mount an outboard to it or your trolling motor back here. And the more I thought about it, I thought, man, like if I'm, I'm basically gonna get rid of the boat and fish strictly from this vessel. If I'm gonna do that, an outboard's starting to sound pretty cool. Put like a little two and a half horsepower back there. Can reach out distances without using up my battery from the trolling motor. It's got these, uh, I don't know if they're stability fins, but it helps it track true i know without them makes it a little bit un, uh, not unstable but a little cattywampus i guess if you're going through the water I just drop down and then um nice. they'll retract if you hit something We're on each side yeah but it's not a rudder not a rudder they do have a rudder system i think they call it like a beaver tail or oh is that the thing you, then you can control yeah. oh then you have a locked uh, control, control motor. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Um, I don't know. What, what, are, what are your impressions so far? Well, I think it looks wide. It looks stable. Uh, again, we didn't, haven't had this in the water yet, so, but it looks stable. It's wide. It looks like you can stand up easily. Um, I don't know. As far as power and everything, we'll see how this thing, yeah. how it holds up. Steering, you know, I don't know. I mean, you might hate, you know, maybe that's not as convenient. Yeah, yeah I don't know. We'll, we'll see, but Definitely tons of storage. You got the stuff in the front. You have stuff in here. Under the seat, it's got a, I have a Hobie compass and I can't store anything under my seat because uh, it's so low. And then of course the back storage, I don't know. You got the fish holders back here. You got the, uh, the track system that you can put a lot of uh, accessories and stuff like that. So I don't know, it's built for fishing, that's for sure.
the fact that I have all this space is nice. Yeah. Um, the one I know, like expectations for me, I already have the trolling motor. Further down the road, I'll probably do an outboard, whether it be electric, maybe another trolling motor, just stronger. I have a graph I'm gonna mount. I'm not sure on what side. Other than that, I don't want too much stuff in my way, so I'm trying to keep it simple. The one, the one issue I still fit, uh, probably more than 50-50, is the actual transducer mount. So oh yeah. My transducer is a dual image and I mean down image and side image, so it's it's pretty long. And originally I was gonna go through the scupper hole because there's just, usually a, a lot of kayaks have an opening on the bottom but I don't I don't know if it's gonna fit or get damaged under there I know some people glue them to the bottom of the pods either underneath or actually inside if you're just doing down image it doesn't matter if it's inside or a uh, yak attack makes that I think they call it like a switch blade or something it's like it's an arm yeah that drops the transducer over the side I'm not a huge fan of that because I'm, I don't know, might run into something, might snap it off. I'm pretty sure they're pretty robust and I'll probably end up going that route. But in the meantime, to save some money, I think I'm just going to mount it right off the transom since nothing's back here in the meantime. It's got these threaded inserts. I'll just make a quick mount and run it off that. Um, other than that, I mean, I'm gonna try to keep it simple. I'm gonna work on uh, a, making a keel guard, fabricate one out of some thin kydex. Shouldn't be too hard to make. You just cut it up, heat it up, glue it on there. I need to be able to carry a certain amount of rods so I'm not constantly tying on new stuff. So at least if I can have four rods, would be good. And then uh, see how it does in the water. I mean, even try paddling. I'm gonna probably need a longer than normal paddle because it's so wide or even if i decide to try to paddle as i'm standing i will right, make a video when you actually get it out in the water yeah so ho stand. hopefully within a week or so sweet all right all right guys see ya